Well, good morning, or uh, good afternoon, boys and girls, and mommies and daddies, and grandmommies and grandpappies. I know, I know I said 2 o'clock, but it's a little before 2, uh, 30 minutes or so. But, you know, this mommy's got things to do, places to go, and people to see. Sorry about that. So... Of course, you know, you can always get these any time of the day or night. And you can also get them any time of the day or night on YouTube. I believe my daughter has caught everything up except maybe last week or possibly two weeks ago. But she's got everything else caught up. So, feel free to write my name in on YouTube and look at past adventures. And you can, like I said, any time of the day or night, you can always go on Facebook and find me. And with that said, the piggies were up bright and early today because today at school is only a half a day. Don't know how these kids ever learn anything. I do declare, I just don't know. I mean, they just got through having, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Christmas and then um, Martin Luther King Day and, and now they got another half a day? Eesh. But anyway, I digress. Um, they had their good oatmeal with raisins and good, nice 2% milk and some brown sugar sprinkled all over it. Ooh, I'm in the mood for oatmeal. Um, so, Mommy Piggy says, what are we going to do this afternoon when you get out of school? And uh, Piggly says, well, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. And Squiggly says, I think we need to go over and see Mr. Farmer Brown. We haven't seen much of Mr. Farmer Brown and Mrs. Farmer Brown since we got back from Princess Hannah's Christmas. And Mama Piggy says, well, that's a very good idea because I want to talk to Mrs. Farmer Brown about a pattern of a dress that I saw. And so they said, okay. And she says, I'll pick you up at 1230 today and we will go over. Well, we'll, we'll go eat a quick uh, hamburger or something somewhere because we don't want to go over while they're having lunch. And Squiggly says, well, their lunch would probably be better than a hamburger, Mama. And Mommy Piggy says, yes, it probably would be, but we're not invited. So we don't go. Remember the rules. Remember your manners. And Piggly says, manners again, just to go and see Mr. Farmer Brown? And Mommy Piggy says, of course, you always have to use your manners. Hmm, they thought about that one for a while. Because there's sometimes when you just don't want to use your manners. But maybe if you did use your manners and say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am, and please and thank you, maybe you wouldn't have got into the situation that you find yourself in when you don't want to use your manners. Something to think about there. Well, they had a nice day in school. And Miss um, Eileen, their teacher, she was trying to find a um, another... Remember when they colored that great big long rolled out piece of paper and it went one blackboard in the corner and the other blackboard this way. Remember that? And they won a prize for it. Well, she didn't know of any contest coming up for prizes, but she knew that she could give them prizes. And all the boys and girls loved doing that, that art paper, that art paper for the contest. So she was looking in the catalog for teachers and she was looking in there and to see what kind of of a, of a roll picture that she could find. And she thought maybe that she'd found the right one. And, sorry, <laughs> chewing on something. Um, so she says, okay, what I'm gonna do today, she says, I'm gonna ask the boys and girls and if they, um, I didn't, I don't know if I turned the sound on. <laughs> and if they um, want to, she says, then I'll order. I think I'll order that one special one. Yeah. She said, so 
if they want to uh, to color another picture, she says, then I'll go surprise them. Well, they got to school, and uh, um, she's sitting there at her desk. And she took the role, and nobody was absent today. And then they said the um, Pledge of Allegiance, and they said the Lord's Prayer, and they all sat down. And she said, boys and girls, and she looked around the room and she said, I am working on a project. And some of the kids groaned, oh, what do we have to do now? And some of the kids were, oh, what are we going to do now? And that's the difference, boys and girls. You always got to be kind of wondering what you're going to do, but, but approach it nicely and don't groan about it. Anyway, she says, would you boys and girls like to do another picture like we did for that contest that we won a prize for? <gasps> Lo and behold, everybody in that class raised their hand. Now, boys and girls, that is so unusual that everybody wants to do the same project. And you ought to know that by now. You're old enough, boys and girls, to know that, wow, everybody wants to do the same thing? Whew, that's something different, you know? So, she thought that was real good. And so she says, well, she says, I'm thinking maybe, I'm thinking maybe about ordering you guys one. Oh, when will it come? When will it come? And she thought, wow, maybe I better order two different ones, you know, have one on hand here because they seem to really like it. Well, they went on, they had their spelling and they had their little arithmetic mathematics, as you people call them. Grandmommy still calls it arithmetic. And um, they had their chapter, the story that she always read them a, a chapter on. So she thought she better get busy and do that before the bell rang because it was getting close to 12 o'clock already. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. I see that little grin on my lighting check. Mm -hmm. You can have fun in school, and you know that. Anyway, they got all through... And the boys rushed out, and the policeman standing in the hallway says, Now, boys, you know you're not supposed to run. Oops. And they all stopped and looked at each other, and they walked real careful down the rest of the way in the hallway. And they jumped in the car, and they said, Okay, Mama, where are we going to get this hamburger at? And she says, Well, I'm going to take you to a different place this time. She says, None of you boys have been to... A place called Hardy's. Hardy's? Is it hard to get in? Or is the food hard to chew? What 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 do you mean Hardy's? And she said, Well that's a that's a man's name. She says, I don't know how the the the, the restaurant got its name, but it can be a man's name, a woman's name, you know, Joe Hardy. But she says it's spelled different. It doesn't have a Y on it, it has two E's on it. Two E's, Squiggly said. Yes, I think it does. <laughs> In our story, it has two E's on it, okay? Don't want any flack from you grown-ups. <laughs> so, she said, it's got real good, juicy hamburgers. <gasps> Can we get mushrooms? Squiggly asked. And Wiggly says, no, I, I, I want bacon on mine. And Piggly says, I just want a hamburger. I'm hungry. So they go to Hardy's, and they walk in, and they order their hamburgers, and they ordered some french fries, and they were curly. Oh, those are so good. And they ordered, she says, you can have one soda. You can't get a refill, so you better ask for a large one. Okie dokie. Well, they had a, such a nice lunch, and the kids were in such a good mood, and they told Mama that they were going to get, Miss Eileen was going to get them another thing to color, and everybody was so excited, and so they finally got through, and it was almost 1.30 by the time they got through. They had talked so long. Oh, my goodness gracious, and Mama Piggy, she had a, a, um, a refill on her coffee, and they just had such a good time talking. And that, boys and girls, is really important to talk to Mama and Papa. Okay? So, 
off they go to Mr. Farmer Brown's house and Mrs. Farmer Brown's house. And who lives with Mr. and Mrs. Farmer Brown? Remember? Who is it? I can't hear you. Little Bad Wolf, right? Because they adopted Little Bad Wolf. Well, the piggies said on the way there, they said, you know, Mama, we used to go and see Mr. Farmer Brown, and we always liked to see Mr. Farmer Brown, and then we would leave there, and we would go find where Little Bad Wolf was at. This time, we get to go to Mr. Farmer Brown, and we get to see Mr. Farmer Brown and Mrs. Farmer Brown and Little Bad Wolf. She says, boys, you just were in school with him. Well, Mama, we know that, but he's fun to play with. You know that. He's our bestest, bestest friend. And she goes, oh, yeah, that's right. She says, he's your bestest, bestest friend. What's Allie the alligator? Oh, he's our best friend. I think there's a difference between best friend and bestest friend. Bestest, bestest friend. Isn't there? I think so. Well, they got to Farmer Brown's house. And Mr. Farmer Brown and Little Bad Wolf were just going out the kitchen door. And when Mama drove up. And the piggies jumped out of the car and ran over and gave Mr. Farmer Brown the biggest hug. And Little Bad Wolf says, he's so much fun to hug, isn't he? Because he was real tall and he could hug them all at one time. Well, he said, boys, I'm glad you're here. He said, we were just going out to the barn. We're building something out in the barn and I can use some help. Oh, boy, that was all they needed to hear. You know, he's still got a project for all the boys and girls. And you remember, he built the skating rink for them. He built the bowling alley for them. And I want to think there's something else that he did. And he always, when on his strawberry fields, he always opens them up to the public after they're picked the first time. We had a story about that one. I want to say Mr. Farmer Brown did something else for the boys and girls. Do you remember what it was? If you do remember what it was, tell Mama, and Mama can write it on the bottom of the story here for the comments. Because I don't know if it was anything else or not, but it seems like there might have been. Anyway, they go out in the barn, and Piggly says, What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And Mr. Farmer Brown says, Well, this is something that, that Little Bad Wolf and I are working on. It's not a secret. But he said, it's a secret kind of from Mrs. Farmer Brown. Okay, so they got the tools out, and they got the saws, and they got the hammers out, and they got the screws out, and they got the screwdriver out, and they got the paint cans out. Oh, Mr. Farmer Brown had them all working. He had every last one of those boys working. What Little Bad Wolf was doing the painting on the stuff that was already built. And the three little pigs and Mr. Farmer Brown were building the stuff. What they were doing was they were building all kinds. Well, it's the same kind of bird, but it, the houses were all different. And, and some of the birds don't like to go into, I don't, I don't know the, the shape of them now, but I used to. There's a shape that you build for this bird, and there's a shape that you build for that bird. And so he knew, Mr. Farmer Brown had looked it up, and he knew that the robins were down. The, the red birds were down, the cardinals and the robins, and they were down. Robins? No. Grandmommy's got forgetful here again. Um, anyway, the red birds were down in Florida, and so he wanted to build some houses for them because it was getting a little bit cold. Now, it's not near as cold as it is up north, so he knew that the birds would be able to stand the Florida cold, but he said he wanted to build a couple of bird houses and surprise Mrs. Farmer Brown. And he was going to hang them up when he got through. He was going to send her to town is what he was going to do. He was going to make up an excuse for her to go to town. He told Little Bad Wolf, we'll send her to town to buy some food for the chickens, some chicken food. And Little Bad Wolf, he giggled and giggled and giggled. He thought that was the funniest trick they were going to ever play on Mrs. Farmer Brown. So they were going to send her to the feed store to buy some chicken feed. And they were going to hurry up and hang the houses up for the birds. So he had three more to build. There happens to be three little piggies. 
Now, what a coincidence that one was, okay? So Little Bad Wolf, he was almost finished with painting the first one. So he said, okay, boys, hurry up. I want to paint that for next one. So they did pretty good. They they started, and when, one, when Piggly got through with his, he gave it to the Little Bad Wolf, and Little Bad Wolf is painting and painting. And paint. Oh, Little Bad Wolf was a good painter. And then he got through painting that second one, and here Wiggly, he's through, and it was an assembly line. It was pretty doggone quick. Well, they came back to the house, and of course, Mama Piggy, remember, she wanted to talk about patterns with Mrs. Farmer Brown. Because there was two ways that you could make this dress, and she knew that the one way that you could make the dress with a full skirt would look really pretty on Mrs. Farmer Brown. And she knew that the other one with the short skirt would fit her better because her legs are short. Mrs. Farmer Brown's legs, you know, are like everybody else's legs. Anyway, that doesn't make too much sense, but a good sewer knows what she means. So, she wanted to talk about the pattern and she had some material laid out, some fabric laid out that she wanted to show Mrs. Farmer Brown. And they were huddled all around the table, the work table that Mrs. Farmer Brown uh, sews on and she does some arts and crafts on this table and they were in the, in the, in the sewing room and they heard the boys come in and they heard Mr. Farmer Brown say, now wipe your feet off boys, we've been out in the barn, you know that, and so they all did. And Mr. Farmer Brown says, now let's take off our, our muddy shoes. And they took off their shoes. And so Mrs. Farmer Brown heard them, but then it got real quiet. Well, she couldn't hear them walking because they were walking when their bare feet with, well, socks. They had socks on. So all of a sudden, here comes Mr. Farmer Brown in the sewing room. And so... Mrs. Farmer Brown picked up the pattern and she put it behind her back. She says, you're not supposed to be seeing what's in here, Mr. Farmer Brown. I have a surprise I'm working on. What she was going to make was a special Valentine dress because pretty soon Valentine's Day will be here. And that was the day that Mr. Farmer Brown and Mrs. Farmer Brown got married on Valentine's Day. They always went out for supper, and he always brought her flowers. And so she wanted a pretty red dress, and she picked out some material that Mrs. Mama Piggy had. It was so pretty. It was pink, a rosy pink. Not a yucky pink, but a rosy pink with little red hearts all in it. All through the material was little red hearts. And Mrs. Farmer Brown says, I think that's the perfect fabric for that dress. And I'm so glad I came across this pattern. Well, look at, luckily they had said that before Mr. Farmer Brown walked in. And so he just smiled at Mrs. Farmer Brown. He says, I can take a hint. He says, the boys and I will be in the living room watching the football game. It's going to come on. And oh, my goodness gracious, it's already on. Boom, he ran out of the room and turned on the TV just in time to see the boys run out on the field. They were getting started already. All right, boys and girls, the football game is going to start but Grandmommy's story is going to stop. Okay? We will see you Monday. And I do apologize about not being on Wednesday. Wednesday was a busy day. And Mommy Piggy uh, wanted to watch TV. And she wanted the boys to watch TV with her to learn different things. And so it was a busy day. So Grandmommy didn't come on. And I do apologize. So... Friday and last Monday is two times. It's nice to have Piggy on two times. So we will see you Monday, okay? I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll do something. And like I said, if you will like and share and comment. I'm still waiting for somebody to write in and say something about when they were a little boy or girl, what they liked to do or what happened when they did something. I'm still waiting on that now. 
And I do have a special shout out once again to Caden and Zach. They try to watch every time that they get a chance to, but right now they're doing some schoolwork. Their mama just told me that they're doing some schoolwork, but maybe this afternoon they get to watch. So hello, Zachy and Caden up in that cold Pennsylvania weather and all the boys and girls down here that are nice and warm today, they say hello to you. And another special shout out to a friend in North Carolina. Her name is Debbie. And I think she has a, I don't know if it's a husband or a brother, a boyfriend. Anyway, I know there's somebody else in her house. And so hello to both of them. Um, is anybody else supposed to say hello to? I don't think so. Anyway, share, comment, and like. And we'll see you all Monday. Bye-bye.